Yo, what's good, y'all? What's happening? <clears throat> How's it going? Um, <coughs> nuts? Nuts by any chance? Y'all like nuts? You fuck with nuts? Um, I used to really love peanuts back in the day. You know what I'm saying? As a kid, I would just smash them. Like, shelled peanuts. You know what I'm saying? Planters. The ones shell off. Salted, honey roasted, like anything peanuts, I would just down them boys. But I'm not as much of a fan like these days. I, I always mess with cashews. I thought cashews were like the, the pinnacle of nuts until until I tried pistachios, man. If y'all can't tell I love food, like clearly. Pistachios go hard. If y'all haven't had pistachios, you're just missing out on life, okay? You're missing out on something amazing. <laughs> One of God's blessings to earth, okay? Try some pistachios, man. The only thing is, the only caveat is they're always dumb expensive. Like, there's a specific brand that any bag you get, it costs like $4 or, or more. Like, which is insane. For a bag like this size, I'm like, bro, relax. You're nuts. <laughs> um, Today, we're just going to roll past that like it didn't happen. Talking about staying true to yourself. Stay true to you. Regardless of what other people may think. Regardless of how other people may feel. If it makes them upset. If they just don't like you as much for you staying true to you, that is fine. That's a risk that you're going to have to take. That's a fact that you're going to have to face. Stay true to yourself. I got a story for y'all. I don't know if I'm going to share it right now or later in the video. I don't know. It'll come when it comes. But there is such <clears throat> an element of peace that you begin to foster within yourself when you stay true to you. When you know that you are moving in accordance with who you believe yourself to be you know and not only that just like who who you are behind the scenes you know when nobody else is there when nobody else is around are you being that same person in public <laughs> you know are you staying true to yourself or do you put in the mask do you put on the facade when there's other people around do you switch up do you code switch <clears throat> sometimes a bit necessary, sometimes. That's not the point of the video. I always, like, try to <laughs> argue against myself when I'm thinking, when I'm speaking, you know. Um, I feel like that's a, a practical thing to do. It's good to try to see both sides of an argument. But for the sake of this video, staying true to yourself is very, very, very important, y'all. But the thing is, when we choose us, when we start to put ourselves first, other people may not like that. You know, especially if we've had a past, if we've had a history <clears throat> of putting other people before ourselves, of not staying true to ourselves, of code switching, of putting on that mask and that's what people have come to expect of us throughout our life because that's been the only experience that they've had when we start to try to do something different that's going to throw people off you feel me they might not like this new version of you as much it might cause a little more tension a little more rupture in relationships but <laughs> Are you being honest with yourself? Are you being honest with others? Staying true to yourself means that you are willing to put your actual authentic self out there. Despite how people may feel, despite any ridicule, despite any shaming that may come your way. But let me go back to that little peace segment that I was speaking on. 
when you do that, when you are just moving authentically with yourself, there's no doubt in your mind that you're making the right decisions. You know what I'm saying? They may not be perfect, but you can rest assured that I know in my heart of hearts, this is the decision that I am happy that I made because it is genuine to me. It's authentic. You feel me? And not everybody has to like it. Story time. I was at work. <clears throat> when was this? This is maybe like, probably like three months ago or so. Roughly. And... So, so some of us on, on my shift, like we take 45 minute breaks. It's really supposed to be 30 minute breaks. Every other shift takes 30 minute breaks, right? But the way that our times and everything is set up, we just incorporate one of our 15s into that 30. And so we all just take 45, okay? We've been doing this. It's been going on for the longest. Okay, this is just the standard, right? <clears throat> So somebody from third shift comes around and like <laughs> they're working second with us and they're tripping, you know, at the fact that we're, we've we been taking 45s and they've only been taking 30s. Like it, it has nothing to do with them. It doesn't affect their day at all. But just because she saw that we're doing it a certain way and then she wanted to feel a type of way and then make a scene. And so naturally... Everybody wanted to hide that. Everybody wanted to hide the fact that we were about to still keep doing that after she was done working with us that day. Like, hey, you just got to keep this low. Like, don't let third shift know. Don't let the supervisor know anything. We're just going business as usual. If they ask any questions, boom, this is what we're doing, okay? <laughs> Fine. Fine by me. So that that whole situation that day happened probably about three months ago say like a month later third shift supervisor comes in early she's working second shift with us all right our break times are rolling around and in my head i'm like all right i know we've had this conversation um we're probably we should all still be on board with this situation right so the time rolls around and i was out and about doing my thing you know what i'm saying she calls over the radio hey levon like uh where you at i let her know my my location and uh was like all right bet so i went up to the front to see if they needed anything and <laughs> and she asked me like i was it kind of caught me off guard <laughs> i wasn't on my break or anything but she just asked me immediately off rip she was like uh do you guys take 30 or 45 minute breaks and i'm like dang like, in my head, I knew what the answer should be. And mind you, like, I just walk up. She's at the desk. She turns around, asks me that. Boom. My other two coworkers are standing right there at the desk. I'm assuming they were talking to her beforehand. So I'm stepping in. I'm peeping game. I'm seeing the situation. I'm like, dang. <sighs> they... <laughs> I know the, the thing to do is to be like, oh, we're taking 30s, right? But for me, like, y'all, it is not in my nature to lie. I'm not a liar. Like, I, I just got to keep it real. I got to keep it on. Because, like, what do I look like? I feel like if I lie about that, right? And I understand the situation. I know, I know, I know all that, right? I feel like if I have to lie and hide what I'm doing, then that... To me, that feels like, oh, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared of some some consequences. And that's just not how I feel. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm not worried about what the supervisor has to say if we are taking 45 minute breaks, like, or versus 30. Like, I don't care. <laughs> you feel me? Um that's just how I feel. And I'm I'm not a liar. So I was I was given an option. I feel like there's a bug on my phone that just bothers me so much when I see bugs just on the wall or on the ceiling or anywhere in, in my crib, in my room specifically. Anyhow. <laughs> um, <laughs> so 
So I can either be true to myself, be honest, and just be like, hey, you know, we're, you know, we take 45. Um, or I could do what everybody's expecting of me and be like, oh, yeah, no, it's 30s. Like, we've been doing 30s. <laughs> and stick with the program and and kind of go against my um what do you call it uh not my morals my freaking uh what is a word for that bro hold on I'm not give me a sec I'll... my integrity right <laughs> i could go against my own integrity and just to be a part of the group and a part of this lie and you know what I'm saying? Just just feed into what I know what everybody's expecting of me. But ultimately, as you guys can tell, I didn't do that. I didn't. I was like, uh, no, we're taking 45. Um, and then so she was like, all right, one of y'all <laughs> is lying because I guess that's what they were just talking about. Lo and behold, my coworkers, they pointed at me. Like one of them pointed at me, not both of them. Um, one of them pointed at me and was saying that I was the one lying. So I, I pee game, you know? And hey, I, t I know the game. I, t I always, I just, like I always say, you know, peep game, move accordingly. You feel me? See how people are, see them for who they are, and move accordingly. I peep. I didn't respond. I'm like, all right, noted, noted, noted. Um, I did end up checking her like maybe a week later on it because she like don't just come up to me trying to have casual conversation like you you not you wasn't being weird. <laughs> so I had to check it then because I can't just we're not just about to let that slide like I am Pete, bro. Um, anyhow, I stay true to myself, but. If I'm being honest, I was feeling some anxiety after that. You know, I was really worried. I'm like, dang, man. Like, I, I know I know what the situation was. I know what they expected of me. And uh, now if, if things change because, you know, I was being honest and then everybody has to take 30-minute breaks now, I know that's going to be on me. <laughs> Everybody's probably going to dislike me now. Everybody's probably going to be upset and... You know, catastrophizing, thinking of the worst case scenarios. <sighs> but I had to come to terms with that. I'm like, hey, you know, and it was tough. It was tough because I was still I was still newer there then than I am now. Um, yeah, that was something I was I was really wrestling with and struggling with, but at the end of the day, I knew within myself and I found peace in the fact that at least I held on to my integrity. I was still being honest and I wasn't worried about whatever co whatever consequences came of my honesty, I was prepared to face, you know? And that was just reassuring for me, you know? There's a, a sense of, of peace, of solace that I found in in that knowing. Ultimately, nothing came of it. Literally nothing. Like we still been taking our forty five minute breaks, and and I, I stayed true to myself. There weren't any consequences that came of it, and I also, you know, I got to see people for who they were. You know, I got a little more insight into you know some of my coworkers' character. Which one of them, like, she's done a couple more goofy things since, the same person. And now I'm just like, I now I have to understand, hey, unless it's work-related, we don't got to talk. You know? And she could, she's tried to come up to me a couple times and just have, like, just casual little conversation. Wait, no, I have nothing to say to you. I'm like, you feel me? Stay true to yourself. You're who you are for a reason. You have your thoughts, your beliefs, your callings. They're there for a reason. You have a unique perspective, a unique life experience. Stay true to that. Align with that. You feel me? 
Not everybody's going to see things your way. Not everybody's going to like you for who you are. I've touched on this before. You know, being in elementary, <clears throat> probably a bit of high school, but more so elementary is what's, what's sticking. Um, people getting on me. Other black people getting on me for how I talk because I talk proper, because I talk white. There's a reason for that. Even now, like, I'm putting that to use, my articulate nature, I suppose you could say. I'm putting that to use. That's part of me. That's natural to me. And I'm able to get on here and bring videos to y'all, you know, in a certain way. To speak with a certain tone. <laughs> but if I would have switched up, if I would have put a mask, if I wanted to be in with the crowd... And just, and just start using slang like here and there and just speaking in a way that wasn't authentic to me, then I'd be being fake. You know what I'm saying? And it's not like I'm the most articulate person in the world. You know, I fumble over my words all the time in my videos. But there's a use for it. There's a reason that we are who we are. And we have to align with that, stay true to that, don't lose sight of it. You feel what I'm saying? Are you smelling what I'm cooking in this bitch? Well, I turn around and say that. The bitch came out of nowhere. Like, honestly, that... No, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Y'all take it easy, man. Thanks for being here. Drink some agua. Eat some nuts. Try some pistachios, man. They slap. I'm telling you, you're welcome if you haven't had them. Uh, shelled or unshelled, don't get the flavor joints. I mean, you can do do you do your thing boo boo but um bye have a good day okay and <laughs> this is so not even that important but almonds also go hard man almonds and pistachios top tier nuts also did want to say speaking on <clears throat> not really giving a fuck what people have to what people think about you and just staying true to yourself um i've been trying as you see as you've seen to do more videos just out and about um i remember that was something that i used to be have more anxiety around you know and as you see people just walk by i'm just doing me doing what i want to do and they don't really care you know at the end of the day like people got their lives to live life goes on you know, so just do you stay true to yourself, okay? I'm out this time.